What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily YouTube live streams and more and today for you I have a brand new series. This is episode 1 of the GTA 5 Police Roleplay mod. The LSPDFR 0.4 mod has come out, it's brand new and uh, it's got a lot of nice tricks to it. It's got a lot of new things and uh, it's, it's given us the opportunity to start up the Play as a Cop mod series again. So uh, we're actually going to be getting into it with another character. This this right here, th this is uh, this is just an average cop. This is Officer Terry, and he's he needs to find himself a replacement. So further down the line, we'll see more about Officer Terry. We're gonna go a little bit into his life right now as we go to the police station and we go ahead and meet Miles Logan, the main character of this story. Miles Logan is kind of up and coming. You know, he's really interested in becoming a cop, and uh, I won't spoil it, but it's gonna start there. So if you watch and enjoy this, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more and more episodes of the GTA 5 roleplay police mod all you gotta do is drop a fat like on this video I'm not gonna count how many likes but you know what just hit the like button and we'll see what we can get if you watch and enjoy it you want to see more this kind of content you like be sure to hit that subscribe button as well and if you want to cop some fire merch like the season 3 stuff or the game glasses head on over to typical.store link in the description below let's go ahead and head over to the police station now now he's kind of he's, he's getting off duty now he's still got his police radio going but uh he's gonna head over to the station and uh and kind of check it in for the day. So again, this is Officer Terry, and we're going to kind of not really follow his storyline yet, but uh, we'll get into it later. The main person is Miles Logan, and uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna talk a lot about him in a second. First and foremost, let's go ahead and get over to the station. And of course, uh, we're gonna go ahead and mark that on our GPS. We're gonna head over to this downtown station, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, we're going to obey some traffic laws. We can throw on the siren if we like, you know, go a little bit crazy. But we don't want to break too many laws as, you know, we are the police enforcers of this town. But, man, these, these, uh, there we go. All right. Sometimes it just takes forever, you know? Sometimes it just takes forever for things to go through and people don't listen to the stop signs. People don't listen to the gold light, the stop light. It's, it's something like that, you know? Are you going straight? I'm going straight. All right. Sweet. Okay, as we head down to the... Oh, no, it's a left turn only. I should have known that. You know what? Ah, we can make it. There we go. We don't we don't get the left turn signal, but that's okay, you know? We, we can wait a little bit. We can wait a little bit. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. Now we got the turn signal. Come on. Get going, people. <sighs> Learn how to drive, people. Learn how to drive. There we go. All right, we're good. All right, screw this. Yep, we got an emergency over here. You see, the thing about Officer Terry is he's a bit of a loose cannon. You know, he, he he likes to follow the rules, but sometimes he don't like to follow the rules. And you know what? When when his wife Deborah's at home and she's got the lasagna cooking, he has got no time to wait up in traffic. He's got to get going. He's got to get thuming, and he's got to get back to work to drop this freaking car off. All right. And to get things going. So, uh, Deborah's gonna be hella mad if he's not home in time. But he can't damage his car. So, at least we gotta drive a bit safe as we make our way back over here to the police station. And he's 503, 50 nothing. Terry's not gonna go do nothing right now, alright? He's off shift. He's off duty. He doesn't want to turn off his dispatch in case, you know, one of his homies need help real bad. But, uh, I think, I think we'll be good. Yes. Oh, oh, chill, chill. You don't want to be an obstruction to justice, okay? You know, you don't want that. You don't want that. All right. As we get closer here, we can kind of turn off the siren. Bet. Eh, ah, you know what? Yeah, 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 sure. There we go. Hashtag the musical. All right. Red light. Still good for the turn here. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, my gosh. Sir, you almost ran a red. I'm... You're lucky I'm dead enough work, or else... Or else I'd cuff you. I'd interrogate you. I'd make you... I'd make you talk about what you... You almost ran over that lady. She dropped her donut. She's on Jenny Craig, seventh week. That's 20 points. Attention all right? units. We've got a hold up at Strawberry 24 7 Market. Respond code. Come on now. Come on. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this in over here. There we go. Oh. This is the good thing. This is the good thing. And let's park this over here. 
There we go. Oh, you know, you guys don't really got to know why this car is all, all banged up. That's okay. Let's go ahead and close that up. And let's go ahead and uh, walk into the station over here with, with all our, our guys and gals pals, all right? There we go. And while we're out of here, I think we got to reload the mod real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, load, plug in. That should work. If my knowledge is correct. It looks correct. Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh my, what the heck is happening? We are teleporting through space and time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Open Gundam style. Oh. 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 Okay. You know, it's doing something. Oh, there we go. See? Oh, now he's in civilian clothes. He's going to go see Deborah. So, uh, while, while he's going to go do that, let's, let's get him go ahead. And uh, he forgot his axe spray. You know, he wants to smell all right. He wants to smell decent. So, um, he's got some nice cologne. He's got some fancy stuff that Deborah gave him. Oh, it's Officer Judy. Hi, Judy. Call her Big Booty Judy. Just kidding. Um, let's go through here and uh, go to locker room menu. There we go. And this is where the story of our our officer starts here. Let me just give me one second here. I think we have to go through this menu. Oh, that's not the right one. Eh. That's not the right one either. Uh it's one of these. Is this the one? I'll figure oh, I might have to hit on duty first. Okay. It's been a minute. They, they changed a few things up, all right? Let's hit go on duty. As, and you can see in the bottom right, it says devouring donuts. <laughs> devouring donuts. Come on now. Come on. All right, so let's go to police locker. I don't think it's this one. Okay. Uh, so this is here if we wanted to change like our outfit and stuff like that. This is just our civilian clothes for Officer Terry here. And all that jazz. So let's just confirm whatever. And head over here. And then I think we should, if we hit one of these buttons. Oh, there we go. No, wrong button. Okay. If we hit escape and go here to LSPDFR, we can go to character. And we can go to switch characters. So we're going to switch character. And this is going to be a special moment. All right. This is very special. Look how cool this is. This is a freaking mod. Somebody made. Some people made very talented by the way um but let's go ahead and create new character now his real name is michael hooth all right that's terry's real name but that was given to him by his biological parents and he doesn't really know him he he changed his life around and now he's just known by terry no first name no last name just terry when he fills in the name slot he just writes terry over the first and last name and middle name section all right it's very confusing i know but let's go ahead and go create new character let's go male over here heritage now we get to choose his mom we get to choose his dad and this right here as i mentioned before this is officer well not officer yeah this is miles logan he's an up and coming uh police enthusiast he's he's looked up all the youtube videos on how to be a police officer but now he's got to put it into practice so um who's his dad who's his mom Let, let's go with uh this chick's got a tracksuit she probably thooms right she probably runs fast and dad Mm, who should it be maybe this guy maybe andrew andrew could be his father or it could be uh john marston nico bellic claude all these past gc maybe nico bellic no no oh gosh nico bellic's got a mug on him huh he's got a freaking mug on him. let's go with uh whose face i mean we could do a lot of customization here right let me go with this guy Oh, you could really soften him up there, huh? Oh, skin tone. All right, he's, he's looking a little thick. He's like, I feel like we can customize him a bit. So he comes from a nice family. His mom, Misty. His dad, Andrew. They're separated, I think. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and... There we go. So features. Okay, features. So we can go ahead and customize him a little bit. We could change where his brows are. We can give him a unibrow. A unibrow, if you like. You have wide eyes, smaller eyes. There we go. Uh, let's give him a nice little, oh, give him a nice little schnauzer here. Not too wide. There we go. Nose profile. A little bit crooked. There we go. That's a nice nose. That's a nice nose. And he needs a broken nose because he got a fight in fourth grade. 
cheekbones. All right, we're going to have them uh, up a little bit. There we go. Cheeks. We're going we're gonna to get them gaunt a little bit. Nice little cheekbones there. Lips. Uh, ah, that should be good. Eh, that should be good. I, I think we don't got to customize that too much. The jawline. We need a, a wide square jaw. But not too wide and squared. Maybe we need to find a middle ground here. Eh, somewhere down there it looks fine. Chin profile. Let's have an out but in, you know? And then chin shape. We're really changing the way he looks now, huh? There we go. Um, and then appearance. There we go. Hair. What kind of hair are we going to get for him? Now he's a young guy. He's up and coming. He can have a cool haircut, you know? Maybe we'll give him... Uh, oh my gosh. He can be like a punk rocker. When you think Miles Logan, who do you think of? This might look like a Miles Logan to me. What do you think? Let's turn a little bit. There we go. Uh, you know, honestly, he's not a bad looking dude, right? He ain't a bad looking dude. Um, Oh, gosh. Man, okay, we're not going to give him like punk rocker hair or anything. Anything too crazy. How about that? The undercut swept side. I'm not a fan. I ain't a fan. Spiked mohawk. We again we don't want to give him something too crazy. Let's give him let's give him the uh the one that I had before. Which one was that? I think it was this one over here. Okay, eyebrows Mediterranean. That was that was the option there. I love how that's what they call it in this game. <laughs> Mediterranean. This one's pretty good. The double tram. I think we need to give him a beard, man. I think we need to give him a beard. But I like this one. You also got that scar there. There we go. Okay, once we get the beard on him. Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit of beardage. You know, just a little bit of beardage. Let's look to the left. You know, he, he's not fully well-kempt yet. But uh, as he grows and experiences the field. Oh, there. you know what? That's pretty good, right? I feel like that's pretty good. Look at that. All right, skin blenishes. You could give him measles. Nobody wants no measles, no pimples. You know, he's got, he's got we'll, we'll give him a pretty clean face for now. You know, we'll, we'll give him a, should we have an eye sort? No. Why would you even put these on? I guess, I guess, oh, oh gosh. All right, we're going to put none for now. Skin aging, nothing. He's pretty young. Skin complexion, rosy cheeks. It looks like he, he ran a little bit. Maybe it's a little dry in the winter, you know. None of that skin damage, nothing. Eye color. We're just gonna give him a light, light brown eye color. Hazel, if you will. Hazel. Eye makeup none, lipstick none. <laughs> Alright. Perfect. Okay, so this is this is him, guys. That's his Brian Gray. That's not his freaking name, alright? How do I Oh 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 I don't wanna do that. Cancel. How do I switch my boy's name? <laughs> Heritage, select your mom, select your dad. Let me just give it a little bit more to the mom. There we go. Um, all right. And then appearance, yada, yada, yada. Maybe his eyes, they're, they're a bit piercing, huh? Maybe dark gray eyes or something or brown. Honestly, I'm going to make it dark brown because my eyes are dark brown. My dude's eyes are dark brown. Let's go ahead and hit save and continue. Brian Gray, that's not his name, chat. It is Miles Logan. All right? That's our dude's name, Miles Logan. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and use him. There we go, Miles Logan. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yes. So, a little bit of backstory of Miles Logan. Oh, he's not a bad looking guy, right? He looks better here than in the menu for some reason, but uh, a little bit of. Mm. 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 Okay. Give me, give me one second here. Maybe it's just. Oh, I'm still stuck in freaking one place why am i stuck give me a second here give me a second this is 
M most unfortunate. Most, most unfortunate. Where are you, man? Let me put you outside. I'm still stuck. What? Die. Bro, die, heck. You. Give me one sec. Okay. Um. Why is my character stuck? <laughs> why is my character stuck? Uh, how do I? I can for sure fix this. I just yeah, give me, give me some seconds here, okay? There, why was he frozen? In why was that an option? All right. Anyway, this is his apartment. Two eight seven four. What's the street called? Two eight seven four Vine Wood, and uh, let's go inside. So a little bit about it. I mean, you might be wondering, how does a man as young as Miles Logan afford a place this beautiful? And I'm gonna give you a tour. But uh, this is actually my dad's house. You know, he's a bit of a philanthropist, but he also takes care of his kids. Uh, I, Miles also wrote a book or two on, uh, you know, uh, esports. So he was a pretty big gamer. He's a pretty big gamer back in the day, and he wrote a couple books. He made it. He made a little bit of cash. His, his dad helped him out. His mom helped him out, and he got this place right when the market was at its low. 2008. He hopped in on that, and he got this beautiful, beautiful place in the Vine Wood Hills. And look at this. All this nice furniture, beautiful fireplace. No animals. No girlfriend. No wife. Just miles and a beautiful view. So as you can see, this is his living room. Very luxurious and can we take a drink? Can we take a drink? Oh, there we go. There we go. See, Miles is nervous because he he's he's gotta go to the police station. Alright, he's gotta go to the police station and talk it over. Okay. And uh he's a little bit nervous because all he's ever done is watch YouTube videos on on how to be a police officer. So he's gotta kinda put it into practice. So uh this goes downstairs. All this is uh wall art from IKEA, by the way. This is all wall art from Ikea. It's all fancy. I mean, it looks fancy, but it's not as fancy as it is. And this wood is just, it's nice reclaimed wood, actually. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. So over here is the master bedroom. Pretty sweet. Got a California king here. Got a nice closet. Got a, a, a beautiful bathroom. Just an absolutely stellar bathroom. And uh, we could definitely take a shower if we wanted to. That, that is definitely an option. We could uh, go to the sink, go to the toilet. We can go to sleep. Could sit down on the toilet apparently i didn't even know that apparently you could sit down on the toilet you can go to sleep if you wanted to you could do all that good stuff and then the bottom floor is really wh where a lot of the magic happens for miles here because miles he's a smart dude again he's wrote, written a book and, he, and he's made some money this is a riding chair he leans back relaxes and he writes some stuff and then people buy that stuff so he's kind of like that this is some of his published books uh, millennium and um johnny tongue both of those are are his books and and the rest are, are friends of his that has been published you know millennials am i right freaking millennials uh and then this is his office for gaming and this is his airsoft weapon collection um all of them are getting repaired right now but he's got some airsoft uh bullets over there or pellets i guess and uh yeah some police paraphernalia all right so uh, just just those just a little walkthrough of Miles Logan place. I want I want you guys to get a better sense of who Miles is through this first episode. All right, uh, a bit of a better sense. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get some sleep with Miles. He, he's had a tiring day. He's done a lot of writing today. He's done a lot of gaming. Currently he's addicted to Fortnite and he's trying to go pro in it. But uh, you know what? He he really feels that the police force is his calling. So let's go ahead and go to the bed over here. Let's go ahead and head to sleep. There we go. And, um, you know, time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. It really does. And uh, as you can see, it's nighttime, but the hours just keep passing. They keep going. Daylight breaks. And it's time for Miles to get out of bed. So let's go ahead. Get the frick out of bed, Miles, all right? You got to get going. Oh, look at that nice little stretch. He doesn't even change clothes, but he could. I think he can. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. You can change basically everything uh, of your outfit. So 
Uh, there's props. There's uh, components. What are the components here? You can put a mask on. You can put a bunch of different stuff on. I don't know what that one changes. But you can change a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that. You can have a little square pocket on your... <laughs> oh, this one's the upper body model. So this one should have, if I go far enough... There you go. You can have gloves, stuff like that. I'm actually a fan of the gloves. I kind of like the the other gloves, though. Let's put this one on. No? Okay, wait. Come on. Give me the arms. Here we go. Okay. So he's got the gloves on now. He's ready to go. And we're going to go... What the heck? Is it my t-shirt always looking? I put on a new t-shirt. It has a little square on the back. It's a nice little t-shirt with square. That's fashion right there. This guy only gets his clothes from typical dot store, just so you know. He only gets his clothes from typical dot store. So let's go ahead and head out the front door here. Leave the apartment. And uh, let's get into our car here. Now, it's a, it's a bit of an oldie. It's a bit of an oldie, but it, it's a good car. And it serves me right. It's got a, I got GPS on my phone. I got air conditioning in the car. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all I really need. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the police station. Let's go ahead and set up our GPS first. So let, let's do it appropriately. And not block anybody's way there. So uh, let's, set, let's set up. We're going to go to the downtown police station over here. And we got to speak to the recruitment officer. I don't remember what her name is. But um, she said she would be in today. So we're going to go check if she's in. I just overtook on a... Yeah, that's fine. You know what? I'm going to try my best not to break any rules of the road going over here. But... There's a lot of stop signs, and you know what? Stop signs are pretty optional in Los Santos, from what I've heard, so. As long as, you know, no cops are, are seeing this, we should be we should be good. So, Miles is more of a good at two-shoes, but uh, he likes to do things by the book. Like I said, most of the, the experience he has of uh, being in the police world is really from YouTube videos and tutorials and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and head on over this way. So again, he likes to be kind of by the book and do everything appropriately and try to do his best. But it doesn't mean he can't be swayed. You know, his, fa his father is a very, very persuasive man. And, and honestly, Miles doesn't really know. what He, he knows he's a philanthropist just because he has a lot of money. But Miles really doesn't know since he was a kid what his dad does, which is a bit interesting. His mom, his mom's an interesting character as well now. This is going to be a, a multi-part series, again, so if you want to watch all of it and you think this is something that interests you, let me know by smacking that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, the story will continue. So, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, there we go. We got that green light, got that green light. And we got this freaking garbage truck here. Look at all the, look at all the garbage, all the garbage flying out that garbage truck. Born and raised in Vinewood. That's why. Oh, you're going to hit that lady, bro. Oh, no, you're good. All right, come on. It's your turn. No, no, garbage truck. It's your turn. Learn how to drive. Thank you. All right. None of you going. I'm going after this guy. Screw it. Man, th this, this garbage truck is really... You know what? We're just going to... Oh, pardon me. Oh, yep. I'm just going to squeeze in here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. Pardon me. Just wave him. Wave him out. Yep. My bad. It's okay. I know. This happens. This is, uh... Yep. Yeah. yeah, my car slipped. My car slipped. Look at the beautiful traffic. What are you What are you looking at, bus driver? I was just trying to merge. All right? I was just trying to freaking merge. What are we leaving here? Man, we keep this car in pristine condition. He's kind of a neat freak like that. Tries his best to uh, keep everything that he owns in neat condition. His airsoft guns, his uh, police paraphernalia, all that good stuff. Oh, oh, I almost crashed. Okay. We do not want that. Miles has a very clean record. And he will maintain that record. He will maintain it. Traffic is a bummer here, though. Get going, get going, come on. There we go. We're going to go ahead and just... Or are they all going to go this lane? We're going to go in this lane here. 
I love how all the lights are red right now. This is this is why the Los Santos Traffic Committee must be fired and replaced. All right? Must be fired and replaced. Oh, look at this guy, Thulman. Almost threw a red. You got to be careful, bro. You got to be careful. How far off are we? We're not too far off. We're about a mile away from the police station. Which isn't bad. And, you know, side note, following traffic laws in Los Santos, not always the best thing. But as soon as we got that police car, we don't got to do any of that. We ain't got to do nothing like that. We can just turn it on and go. You ever see cops do that? I've seen cops do that plenty. If I... Bro, why, what is up with this traffic jam here? I'm just going to drive around people here. Hey man, what's up? Oh, there we go. Sweet. Imagine we get pulled over for speeding as we try to become a police officer. That'd be a major bummer. It's a green... It's a gr Okay. This guy's on his phone or something. What a jerk wad. We almost missed our light there. Almost missed our light. We're going to turn this into a two-laner here. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Just, uh, just cosmetic. No, no biggie. No biggie. Not a biggie at all. We should have got a motorcycle. A motorcycle would be nice to weave between traffic, you know? It'd be kind of nice to weave in, weave in, bob out, bob in. That's me honking, by the way. All right. You know what? I'm just going to go. Some people don't know how to drive in this city. I'm telling you. It gets worse every year. Can I make a left over here? I'm going to try to merge. There we go. I feel, I feel like bus drivers. Bus drivers are really commend, commanding on the road. You got to follow them. They don't care, man. They're like, I'm making a left. Y'all got to yield. Y'all got to freaking yield. Oh, we got some decent traffic here. If I honk and try to merge right, I know. Um, pardon, sir. Sir, I'm right here. Are you kidding me? A uh, pardon me, sir. Language. All right, that's it. That's it. We're going around. And I'm go out the side over here. There we go. This is a one-way street. We could have made a left on a red. Alright, the police station is coming up here. They got some... You know what? They got some parking right here. I'm just going to park right over here. There we go. Let's turn off the car. Step outside. We don't tend to go downtown a lot, but... Man, downtown does look pretty sweet. I got to be honest. Sound Sanctuary Limited. Formerly Video Veranda. Wholesale... Market. Oh, I didn't mean to knock that over. Okay. Let's go ahead and head over to the station now. You know what? I can cross here. Don't, ma don't matter if it says I can't. We should really be careful about jaywalking here since, you know, we're right by the police station. But as soon as that turns red, I think we're good. I mean, they don't even have a left turn signal. I'm going to just go. All right, we're at the police department. F Mother trucker. Give me one second. <laughs> right when we make it here. Right when we freaking make it here. Let me just reload that real quick. Give it a second as it loads us back in. This is a... Oh. Is it going to make us just stand still again? Please don't do that. Wonder why it's crashing. Bro, some of my stuff just crashes randomly, I swear. It's a it's a curse, man. It's a curse. Alright, let's head up here. And this is the pl I mean, if we become a police officer, this is gonna be our place of work. Look at this. This is a fine institution, a fine building. We can make our country proud. 
I, ma'am, I'm gonna be a police officer. Oh. Okay. She looked to her breast. Hey, how are you? Okay. Well, you know what? They're not the friendliest bunch of people yet. Oh, hey, howdy. Um, so. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. No, it's not. I didn't do it. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, ma'am. I bet your wife hates you. I bet she does. I don't have a wife. I hate you. You know, I know what you think. Yawn. Boring. Oh my god. Okay. Your fault. I didn't hit you. I didn't strike you. I didn't fuck you. Ma'am. 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 Uh, ma'am. Okay. Writer. You know what? That was a lot. Okay. All right. That's it. Uh, ma'am. I'm looking for. I'm trying to speak here. I need. I need to speak to lady at the front desk. Lady that's drunk, please be quiet. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for the recruitment officer. She said she would be in today. She's not. She's not here today. Do you got her phone number so I can call her? She's offsite. Okay, I will, I'll call her. Okay, you you deal with, you deal with her. I'm just, she's hella toxic. Okay, apparently she gave us the phone number. I'm gonna go ahead and make this call over here. Okay, um, let's figure this out. What's the phone number? There we go. Okay, type that in. Okay, hit a few numbers there, and then let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make this phone call. All right. No, wait, that's the wrong number. Did she give me the right number? I'm hoping she gave me the right number. All right, there we go. Okay. The customer you are calling is. Oh. Oh, great. That's freaking fantastic, huh? That's freaking fantastic. We come all the way downtown here, and the customer we're calling is on a... Oh, oh we actually got a call back. Hello? Hello? Hi. Um, <clears throat> this is... I was... Um, sorry, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, uh, this is... This, uh, this is Miles Logan. Uh, I, I contacted you before via email about becoming a police officer and you had told me to come in today to the uh south central location okay. and uh yes. yes mr logan i had an off-site emergency but i did receive your email okay no i i know you received my email um but no, you i'm just letting you know i received it oh um okay yeah uh, that was understood um All right. i was Okay, okay, um, good stuff. Um, I was what? What? What's the process of becoming a? What do I need to do, ma'am? Um. Well, there's a few things. Uh, first, let's just give you a general kind of overview of what we're looking for. Um, the first thing is to complete. Okay, and um, I'm. Is that test via phone or or what? Got gotcha, you. Okay. I, I, I've, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to become a cop, and I think I'm ready, ma'am. Okay. Well, good luck. Would you like to start now? Y yes, I would. I would love to start now. All right, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Okay, okay. So, you're walking down the street, and you see a man eating a McFlurry, and <laughs> he just throws it at a car. Okay, so um, he, he has the McFlurry, and he throws it at a car. He throws it at a car, yeah. It okay. hits the car, does not hit the person. He hits the car. So, you can A, tase him. 
him. <laughs> B. Shoot him on contact. Or C. Tackle him and apprehend the McFlurry. Or D. All of the above. Okay, so just to clarify the options, uh, option one was to tase the man with the McFlurry. Yes, correct. Option B would be to shoot the man with the McFlurry. Mm-hmm. Option, option C is to tackle the McFlurry and apprehend the McFlurry. Yes. And then... The man and apprehend the McFlurry so he can no longer throw it. Okay, Correct. and then four would be all of the above? Yes. Okay. Um, well, first and foremost, typically, this is a trick question, the McDonald's ice cream machine is broken most of the time. So this isn't a realistic scenario, but in the scenario that this was true, um, uh -huh. um, shoot him. Um, we'd apprehend the 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 assailant and and get the McFlurry. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll give you that one, but in this area, you know, we like to rule with an iron fist. The correct answer would be to tase him. All right, so okay. for next time. Okay, I will, uh, yes, once again, okay. my taser training, I will taser the man who throws the McFlurry. Okay. Okay. All right, second question. All right. I'm walking down the street, and you see a man kick his dog. Do you, A, find him for kicking his dog, B, take him down to the police officer and make him spend 24 hours in a cell, or C, take off all his clothes and hang him. Or D, all of the above. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, option B, which is he'll have to spend some jail time for that. Okay. Um, well, if it was up to me, you know, I'd hang him. Since oh. We don't tolerate animal abuse in this neighborhood. Oh, well, of but course. Of correct. course. Not by any okay. means. Okay. Yeah, that's the worst possible thing that can happen okay okay so got two right and there's one more right yes one more question okay okay so you're walking down the street again a different street this time though okay different you street see a goat. you see a, a goat, goat running the road and a goat causes a fatal car accident everybody dies there's like 20 dead people there just splattered everywhere there's limbs on lampposts it's just an absolute massacre do so you a butcher the goat <laughs> b take the goat down to the station and have him arrested <laughs> for uh manslaughter or c go to the court of law and have a jury determine the fate of the goat Mm, okay, I'm gonna have to go with B. I think that goat's gonna have to do some jail time. Okay, you know I, I like your answer. Right. Yeah. You that's have this portion. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. We don't butcher goats over here. No, no butchering of goats. Uh, I have the utmost respect for animals and uh, goats. And and one day I was, you know, I was looking it up on YouTube. I wanted to be like a like a canine officer. You know. Okay. Maybe uh, it's a lot different in real life than just, I know your, oh. your millennials are all into the YouTube, but it's a lot different in person. So I just hope you're ready for the, the physical demands that it requires to be an operating officer of the law. Yes. Yeah. And I'm ready. I mean, I did the questionnaire. So now what? Do I have to do some shooting program or like, do I taste people yeah, or beat will, someone with a baton? Will, will have, no, we're not. We're not. Okay, so okay. you need to make sure, you know, you have some decent aim because you can't just be around shooting people, so your next test will be um, at the shooting range. Oh, perfect. Okay, is that the shooting range on 4th and 8th? Yes, that's correct. All right, so I'll head over there and they'll, they'll know that you sent me? Yeah, I will send them a text and let them know you're coming. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate this. This, is, this means the world to me, okay? All right. All right, thank you for taking your time, ma'am. Good luck, Mr. Logan. Logan was actually my favorite movie. Thank you for your time. I've got to get back to oh. all these important things I'm doing. Okay, yeah, well, you uh, you, you do that then, okay? All right. All right, bye.
All right, good luck. All right, thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so, so, whoo! Okay, we passed the exam. The, the, excuse me, sir. We passed the exam. The exam was a, a bit tougher than we thought, but uh, we passed it with flying colors. Ain't no problem, all right? Uh, now we gotta go ahead and get to the uh, the shooting range, though. We gotta get to she. Honestly, she seems a little messed up. She the scenario she was throwing at me. The the scenario she was throwing at me. She was she was saying like goats should go to jail. Or I should tase the guy and then beat him with the baton. I've I've known that the the LSPD, the police officers in this area, they're a bit rough. But I can see where it stems from. This this lady. You know. This lady's a little crazy, not gonna lie. So we're gonna have to go to the, the police state, or the uh, the gun range over here. Let's make sure we put that in our GPS. So it is this ammunition range, or was it was it this one? I, th I think it was this one. So let's head over there, and uh, let's get in some gun training. Now, again, we're an airsoft pro. I mean, we don't need to know much about guns. You know, they're a little different. You got your safeties, you got your, your this and that, you got your that and this and that this all right but but mostly you know i, I think we've got on lock so we can, we're gonna try to score pretty good on this uh this weapons test here and hopefully move forward with our police officer tasks yes yes she said that 20 people died via that goat i don't believe that has to be a real scenario uh samaria chat says she was very level-headed to be honest big fan Honestly, I could, I could see how some people could think she's level-headed. In a city like this, you got to be tough on crime. You got to be tough on goats. But you know what? We're just going to wait. She's our she's our recruitment officer. We got to make sure that we're, we're following it to the, to, to the T so that we get recruited and so that we become an officer. So that's it. Those were some real-life scenarios she gave. What do you mean? I, my apologies. My, you know what? You're right. You guys are right. That those were realistic scenarios. <sighs> those were pretty realistic scenarios. That NASA voice mod, though. Yeah, I mean, NASA came out of both mod. We got to use it. It's insane. And uh, that that's AI learning right there. Artificial intelligence learning. All right, let's get over to the shooting range here. It's starting to get uh, a bit dark, but uh, we should be good. We should be good. As we park over here. This bus is headed downtown as we wait for the lights. It's kind of soothing. Sitting in traffic in GTA. Following the traffic. Oh, gosh. Let's go. Following the traffic laws. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, really. All right. So this is the gun range over here. We haven't been to it before, but we've been to similar establishments, um, you know, near our place. So there's that. Hopefully, they'll let us in to, to shoot a little bit. If not, we're going to have to take things into our own hands. I mean, that's a right turn only lane, but you know what? Everybody else seems to be doing... Oh, shoot. Where am I supposed to park? Uh, we might have to go around the block here. Yeah, let's go around the block. Oh, we're good. We're good. Safe turns. Safe turns only. Oh, you know what? We don't got to go around the block. We can just go into this uh, alleyway over here. Hello, fine people. I'll be a police officer soon. Thank you very much for a carry. All right. And the cat's okay. The cat. You good? Hi. How are you? Got a bit of a limp. Okay. I'm. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. It's uh. You'll be okay. Oh, no, no! Go across the street, run! Run, little buddy! Go for it! Oh gosh, we gotta make sure he, he gets across safely. Oh, chill, 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 no, no, chill, 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 no, 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 not that way, not that way, not that way, stop me, stop me, no! Oh Jesus! Oh, chill! He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's recovering. He's recovering. We're good. We're just going to run right across. We're good. We're Gucci. We're perfectly fine. You guys seen that? 
ever. Okay, well, good conversation, guys. All right. Anyway, cat will be back in no time. Mr. Scruffles. Okay. Let's head on over here. Oh, that's a very nice car. Oh, lots of parking up here. Lots of parking up here. Let's go ahead and park right over here. There we go. All right, I can hear lots of shooting in the gun range. Look at the beautiful views here. From downtown Los Santos. The American dream. Can't believe this is going to be our stomping ground soon. This is going to be where we're going to be doing all our police stuff. Everything. All of it. All right, let's head over here. And let's head into the shooting range. The Ammunition Gun Club of Los Santos, LSGC, open seven days a week. Indoor shooting range. Open all week, 24 hours. Oh. What? So, hello? Pardon me? Can I, uh... Do you... You, you have a private function? What? Where can I get a gun to shoot things? The abandoned car yard on... That seems sketchy, but he's telling me to go over here. Okay, and then where do I shoot things? Okay, well... Alright. Okay, let's... This is getting really sketchy, guys. I mean, I feel like we're going to be lumped into some illegal activities here. We slipped him $20 on the door. He told us where to get a gun. He said we got to put it back. But we could train a little bit with it. So let's let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, my guy's getting tired. All right, there we go. I wonder if there's a... Hold up. Oh, wrong setting there. There we go. Um. There we go. Okay. All right. So let's head over there now. We just got a yield. We're good. Oh, 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 there's a cop there. Now we're sharing a lane. I was here first. This guy came here after. Don't know what you're talking about, Ossifer. Okay, so he said to get a gun. This seems a little sketchy. And then meet him at a warehouse. I don't know. It just all seems a little bit sketchy, you know? But, I mean, we got to do what we got to do for a proper training. And, I mean, she told us to go there. So, the fact that he's sending us over here means that he knows that she sent us, right? So, I mean, I, I guess it's sound advice. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All oh, right. Broke enough traffic laws there. We're good. Alright, this isn't sketchy at all. So he said pull into the salvage scrapyard. I'm going to turn on my high beams. What? Okay. And by the bus. This bus? What the heck is this place? All right, this isn't sketchy at all. Just look inside the bus. Well, he wasn't wrong. Inside the bus is a pistol with 12 shots. I guess we could practice our shooting here. Is there like some bottles we could shoot or something? I mean, I don't think anyone's chilling here, so maybe we could find like some bottles or something to shoot. Whose firearm is this? Okay, we gotta... We're just gonna keep it with us and then we'll, we'll leave it back with them later. Maybe we could take out the lights. There we go. That's a good idea. Alright. There we go. Oh, don't be scared. I'm just practicing my aim. Oh, there you go. Perfect aim. Look at that. 
Look at that stealthy maneuver. And there we go. Let's keep going through here. We gotta make sure we remember where our car is. We just gotta take out a few more lights. Any more lights that we see. We'll give money for it later. But I mean, we need our practice. And once he comes and sees the lights out, he'll let her know how good of a job we did, you know? There we go. Skills that pay the bills. Skills that pay the bills. All right. I think we keep it. I mean, it's it's mostly based on a trust system, this, this uh, shooting. So as, as long as we can confirm that we can complete the test when it comes to day, I think that's the most important thing right here. So let's keep a couple bullets just in case. I mean, we never know what's going to transpire. It's good to keep the gun on us, and uh, we'll go ahead and pay for the rest of it later. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. It's not sketchy at all. we go and then for the final thing i think what i saw on the website was they recommend that i do a driving test so let's go ahead and let's make our way over to what's a big parking lot that we could oh i know the one right by vespucci beach let's head over there and we could go ahead and test our driving abilities there i wonder if they would let us take a cop car out do you think that would be the best way i mean it's already nighttime. You think we should contact them and try driving with the cop car? Maybe they'll give it to us to see if we can do well. I mean, they got GoPros on everything, right? And if they got GoPros on everything, they can. She can just watch it. She can literally just watch the car performance. So, um, let let's head to bed. We're gonna head to bed, and uh, then we'll give her a call tomorrow, and we will see if we can take out a police car, so that we can. Um, so that we could actually have some real driving experience with an actual police car. And um, maybe she could tell us how to set up the course or something like that. And that we can actually go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make a turn here. There we go. Again, if you are watching and enjoy this, you'd like the police play as a cop episodes, do be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. Alright, we're headed back home now. We're just going to go ahead and thumb it. It's going to go ahead and go thumbing. Or even we can go over here and uh, head on over. Let him do some auto drive. There we go. Let him, let him do some auto drive. Hands off. All right. Hands off. There we go. Look at that. Oh, watch, watch a little bit of TV. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. It's a good movie. Is it a zombie? I love watching these these cop movies. They're really good, these cop movies. I gotta admit. All right, let's stand up. This is a tough day, but you know what? I feel like we're learning, we're living, and we're learning. We're doing all that combined. So I think the last thing we gotta do for our training day is uh, get this cop car and do a couple of circuits. Do a couple of circuits with it. So let's go ahead and get in bed. Let's go ahead and get in bed and uh, let's go ahead and wake up in the morning time in the morrow there we go all right now I think that they might have had the circuit set up let me see if I can uh... oh that's not the button if they didn't load properly no actually give me one Second here. Well, look at how nice is that little transition there, chat? How nice is that transition? You you know you gotta admit sometimes when it's a nice transition. All right, that's what you gotta admit. Let me give me one second here. I'm just checking on checking on a little something something because I know we got a we got a course here. I'm just curious how we uh how we do it. How we do the course. Um, give me one second, one second, one second. 
Um, as I try to fix this, as I try to fix, 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 fix this little broken thing of mine. Um, you know what? We might not be able to fix it. If not, it's completely fine. It'll just take a little bit of, a little bit of setup. A little bit of setup. Okay. Yes, it will. Actually, this might work. Let's try this. No. Okay, that won't work. Anyway, let's hop back in here. Give me one second. Awesome hat. Love it. Well, it's sold out. It's a sold out. And I'm back in the corner. Arr, I'm back in the corner, lassies. All right, as you could see, we are back at the apartment. And let's go ahead and let's see if we... I know it's pretty early in the morning. Pretty early in the morning. But let's give her a call. And let's see if she can give us some proper direction on what to do. We, we need to get a cop car. All right, that's what we need to do. We need a cop car for what we need to do. Let's already go out and get the... Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, how are you, ma'am? Hi, Mr. Logan. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, I um, appreciate the... the um... Did you complete your um, shooting? Uh, yes, I did. It was a little bit sketchy. He sent me to a random place and I just shot some lights, but uh, I, I mean, if that suffice for you in the force... Sorry, what was that? I said if you think that's sketchy, I don't think you're cut out to be a police. Oh, it was just a little sketchy. It wasn't a big it wasn't a big deal. Okay. Um so what I wanted to ask you is I know there was a driving portion of this uh test here. Uh what would it I mean I mean I know all the the um all the, all the police officer vehicles are are fitted with GoPros. And uh, yeah. maybe I could t take one and, and take it through a course, uh, even of my design, and uh, you could review the footage later and let me know what you think. You want to take a car mm -hmm. through your own course? Yes, um, uh, the, the police training course of, of which was supposed to be present is no longer so... Uh, let, me, let, me, let me ask my colleague. You're a loser, you know that? Our colleague. She's really talking to somebody else. Sorry, what was that? All right, yeah, I talked to. We'll let you do it, but just make sure to get me the GoPro footage by the end of the day. Okay, yeah, I won't disappoint you. Don't worry, I, I will. I will not disappoint you. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank. Uh, uh, thank you for for um, thank you for for giving me this opportunity. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Well, I won't disappoint Goodbye. you. Okay. Bye. Don't crash. Bye. Okay. I won't. Bye. All right. Sweet. So we we got the car. We got the car. This is perfect. Let's head in here. And uh, let's see if we can. I think we have to technically go on duty. We have to sign in, do a couple sign-in sheets, and uh, let's go over to the police garage. Here in my garage, Lamborghini. And uh, I think we just, oh, there's a lot of options. We got the LSSD, uh, the Los Santos County Sheriff. We got the Highway Patrol. We got the, oh, they got the, the North Yankton State Patrols. The noose vehicles here. Look at all those. The the vapid police cruiser that one's good. I think we're gonna have to take the, I think we're gonna have to take that one. The vapid police cruiser. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh look, they have the buffalo, the interceptor. I think they're gonna start us off with the police cruiser. Uh, let's rock that one and uh, let's let's keep it like that. All right. All right. So we gotta head over to the parking lot now. So this is all sort of amping up. This is all sort of driving towards where Logan becomes a 
actual police officer. So that's when he starts doing, you know, the missions where he starts having to apprehend people and where he starts having to uh, take people down and, um, you know, uh, essentially clean the streets of Los Santos. So this first episode is going to be the training day. That's what it's going to be. That's what the title says. That's what it is. The second episode, I'm very confident that Miles Logan, he's going to make it in. And he's going to go ahead and be able to to clean up the streets. He's going to have his first day on the job. He already knows how to turn on the sirens and just get past traffic. So let's go ahead and head towards that parking lot. And we're going to have to set up a little bit of a course. But once we turn on that GoPro and send that footage, I think we'll be more than golden. More than golden. As we're thumbing over here. You know what? Again, not a problem if we just turn on the siren. We've watched this in a YouTube video. It's all good. Nobody's going to get mad at us. How could you possibly get mad at a police officer? You don't know what he's doing. He could be solving crime. you would be helping your mama out. You don't know. Um, all right, ma'am. That's not how you get insurance money. You just keep walking. I'm stopped before the line at a stop sign. Yeah, watch where you're going, all right? Freaking dork. All right, let's turn it in over here. And there we go. Okay, we could set up this sort of area here as a driving course. So why don't we go ahead and just park over here. And we brought a bunch of pylons. We did. We brought a bunch of pylons. Let's see if we can make some uh, something with it. So let's go ahead and get our pylons. Uh, get our cones, if you will get our uh, big cones and uh, why don't we start off with like is that wide enough for a car all right so we're gonna have to do a nice little a nice little turn here again we've watched countless YouTube videos to see how officers do this now our objective here is gonna be to hit none of the cones hit none of the cones at all and sort of complete this in a in a timely fashion so let's do that and then we're gonna do a nice little tight turn here there we go into a nice little straight away here into a quick hard right turn into the parking spot Let's do that right there. Okay, and then once we get in there, we go ahead and make a right turn out. Or we make a... I guess we'd have to reverse out. And we can go ahead and do a nice little turn back to the start. Or we can make an abrupt left turn. We should do an abrupt little 360 reversal I think that'll be good so let's do that so let's go ahead and do this right over here and sort of a switch back into here get a ramp <laughs> imagine or we should you know what let's put a ramp in here we got to show them that we got the moves. And then we ramp it out. And we got to land it perfectly. Over to here. Oh, that's not enough speed for sure. Okay. Into the finish line. <laughs> Into the finish line. Which is going to be over here. And then we got to bring it to a, a strong, abrupt stop right at the finish line. Okay, once we get this on the GoPro footage, we should be absolutely good to go. Let's go ahead and pile on this off though so nobody gets in here. There we go. We gotta close the parking lot for today, alright? There we go. Nobody, nobody's getting in. And then we gotta delete one of these pylons. I think I put a pylon on... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. 
And there's one floating over. Boom! Alright, we got one hell of a course here. Excuse me, people. What on earth are you doing? Alright, there we go. They'll, they'll figure it out. Alright, so we got this course that runs through here. We gotta do a nice little right turn here. Follow through here. Hard left turn. Over here to a hard right turn. Park. Reverse. Flip it. Go over here. Hard left. That's not enough for a car. Hold up. Hard left into here. These are really tight parking spots. Bro, there's a lot of cars coming through. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin my pylons. Chill. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. All right. Citizens oh. report a possible 211. Oh, shoot. At, uh, the Vespucci branch of suburban. So we Small have. Units respond code three. We have a. We can hear the cases because we got the car, but we can't do any of them because we're not actually a police officer yet. So let's. Oh, shoot. Did I bump it? Oh, that's good. All right. Let's turn on the sirens. Turn on the GoPro. And let's do this. All my training led up to this. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Oh, perfectly. Reverse on out of here. Back over here. Into a hairpin switch. Into the reversal. Back out. Into the ramp. Perfectly into the second sectional there. Alright, that's perfect GoPro footage. I mean, what else can she expect? We did a perfect run. You know, we're going to do a run twice as fast now. No messing up. I really don't want to hurt the vehicle because that's going to hurt my chances of getting into the police force. But, alright, here we go. Full speed this time. Oh, this is a much better run. Oh, perfect drift over there. Into a nice little switch back here. Into a nice reversal. Slightly touching the pylons. Another reversal here. Don't need much space here. Go ahead and hit this. Over the ramp. Oh. There we go. Alright, last time, last time. Let's do one more time. We're going to submit our best run to her. We're going to submit our best run to her. Ooh, drifting, drifting, drifting. Perfect move, perfect move. Get it through here. Right into here. Reverse it out. A little bit of space. A little bit of thulment. All right, I think that's the best run. I think that's the best run, 100%. There we go. All right, perfect. I think we completed it fine, just fine. Let's go ahead and return this police call car. Somebody else can deal with uh, the mess that we left over here. Get one of the new guys to do that, you know? We'll be back to clean it up, actually. It's not a, it's not a big deal. You know, these kids, they like pylons. We are, what we are going to do is turn on this police siren so we can thum back. Again, we've watched YouTube tutorials on this. We're golden. Ain't nothing stopping us. From driving like a monster. This is how we know that Miles is going to be really good as a cop. We know he's going to be really good as a cop because he knows the rules of the road. He knows how to drive. And he's darn good at it. Alright? He's got the confidence. He's got the ability to do so. I mean, you know, if they capture him doing this, it'll probably be really bad for him. But he wants to feel how it is to be a cop. So as long as he doesn't see any other cops, or as long as they don't recognize him, It'll be golden. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yep, just waiting in traffic with my other police officer friend. Ain't no big deal. Nothing at all. It's a long red light, man.
All right, let's return this thing. Oh, oh, police siren, you gotta move it. Police siren. There we go, straight through it now. Straight through it. We're not, we're gonna pull off our siren in a second. We just need to get by an intersection or two. Oh, yeah, a little bit of reckless driving. We turn off the GoPro, though. Oh, this is a one-way. This is a freaking one-way. Be golden. There we go. Out of our minds. Completely cracked. Completely bonkers. All right, there we go. Let's return this car. Woo! All right. Then left turn. And head into here. Every time I head over here, it breaks. Oh, there we go. All right, now we gotta call her up. We gotta see, did we do everything? What else do we gotta do to get in? Oh, you guys are, you guys are trying to become police officers as well? <laughs> did, did she make you guys do the gun shooting thing? Yeah, oh, you guys did that too. How about the car drive? Did she let you take a car? She let you take a car. Say how many, say how many of us we're gonna qualify? One. There's four of us though. Oh. A brother used to know who to trust around here. I know. Yep. I know. Uh, I gotta call her right now because I didn't. I didn't get to that point that you. I will be back. I gotta call her. All right. Let me get this last call in right here. All right. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi, I, I completed the driving test, sent you the GoPro footage. I'm sure you had time to review it. What do you think? Yeah, I, I figured with the whole goat scenario and all that, I think it was uh, it was a good thing, for sure. Yeah, so um, we reviewed it, discussed it with the higher-ups, and um, yeah, everyone everyone said you passed. Sweet. Um, so, so what's the next step, then? Well, I mean, you're going to have to come in, you know, fill out some paperwork, but uh, you should be able to start on the job. Wow, so all I, all I have to do is come in and sign some paperwork and it'll be my first day on the job next time? Next time, yes. We'll, we'll review the paperwork as well and then get back to you. And, uh, nice, and will I, have a, will I have a partner that'll help me out throughout the field or is there just, there's just a training manual? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Wow, me. Uh, okay, so I, basically I got the job, is what you're saying. Yeah, you did. All you losers didn't get the job. Go home. You're beat. Sorry. Um. Um. Sorry. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing okay. at all. Um. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate the training. I can't wait to get into my first real police experience in the next time. But I but I want to thank you. I love you. Okay. I don't think we're at that point in our It means a lot to me. Okay, bye. Uh, uh, don't make me regret this decision. No, you won't. I'll be the best damn police officer you've ever seen, alright? Okay. Yeah, you have a good night, sir. Thank you. I, w I will make you proud. Alright. I'll make you proud. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll make you freaking okay. proud. Okay. Goodbye. We did it. We passed the police training course as easy as it sounds. Absolutely demolished the competition. And next episode, we will do what we've wanted to do this whole time. We will become who we wanted to be. And we're going to bust some freaking criminals. We're going to send them to jail. 
We're gonna pull people over, take their IDs, scan it through computers. We're gonna do everything cops do in the next episode. This episode was training day, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do be sure to smack that like button real hard. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to cop some of that fire merch, be sure to head on over to Typical Dot Store. Link in the description below. As you can see over here, this is the cell, the holding area. And I'm sure we're going to bring lots of criminals through here so that they can do their time behind bars. On that note, I want to thank you all. And we got a bunch of donos. We got a bunch of new members. And I'm going to go ahead and read them out. So we got some new members. Andre Carlson, Joanna Ruggles, Jude Hawthorne, Gabriel Diaz, Christian A., Kevy H, HFQ, Nuclear Storm, Dope Games, Monster Inks, YD. Thank you all for becoming members. Welcome to the Elite. Enjoy those emotes. And if you want to join as well, link will be in the description below. Shout out as well to Aiden for the 25. Hey, TG, your new intro is awesome. And you are my favorite YouTuber. And your vids are amazing. Aiden, that means so much to me. Thank you for the very kind words. And big shout out to you, my friend. Always nice to see you. Mark Ferris, little something to greet Grease Officer Terry's palm. <laughs> that that's how that's how we got in. That's how we got in. Uh, and then we got Chauku. I hereby must must be referred by my rank. You may now call me Colonel Chauku. New graphics and emotes are boss, baby. Regards, Colonel Chauku. I well, I mean, if he said it, I guess we gotta do it. Colonel Chauku, shout out to you, my friend. Appreciate that and all the best, my dude. Jesus Christ loves me. Jeez, she's a bit of a toxic savage. She seems like a really nice lady with at least some morals. No animal cruelty. A all allowed that's what i like to hear man you know she was she was a little bit stern but i liked her i think i think she uh she's gonna prepare us for success 100 percent shout out to you my friend and then we got smile more you're an awesome youtuber and i want to let you know keep up the good work until somebody said hi also just keep smiling will do and shout out to you smile more all the best to you and you you keep smiling too all right you keep how can i not smile when i see in this stuff look at look at that look at and then look at this look Look at this. All right. Look, look at the animation. In the, look at the animation up there. Okay. Look at the animation up there for a second. Look at it. We switch back. Look at it. It's going. Flum. It didn't do it. Didn't do it. Just give me a second. Oh, look. Let me try it again. There we go. Still didn't do it. Hmm. Still didn't do it. Should we? Should we? There we go. That worked. It didn't work. It didn't work several times. It's okay if it doesn't work several times, you know? Several times, it's okay. Uh, we got a bunch of super chats here I want to read as well. Shout out to everybody that came through. I know this is a bit of a late night stream, but I appreciate all the love on this GTA 5 series. It's good to be back. There we go. Look at that. That's now it worked. Now it worked. Aiden with the 25. You and your new intro are awesome. Aiden, always dropping fat cash. What a homie. Shout out to you, Aiden. And I'm glad you enjoy it. Um... So we got a couple of super chats here. Brian Hurtando, uh, Brian McNicholas. Love your videos for years. Brian, you're the man. Shout out to you. Elite Points, um, shout out to you. Hype in chat, that's for sure. Namir Copeland, the Pure Clan, shout out to you. Um, those series may be back soon, so be on the lookout. Uh, Will, thank you for that. 321 likes, but you know what it is, man. Brian Nicholas, shout out to you. The West Dragon, good seeing you, man. I, I haven't seen you in a few streams, but I hope you're doing well. And uh, thanks for tuning in, dude. Elite Gangster Gaming, glad it could be your favorite. That means a whole lot, brother. Uh, Woody McTarget, can you do another 1v1 versus Expert Thief? I, me and Kevin got to do something soon. Be on the lookout, Woody. Uh, Ashen Lit, shout out to you. And glad you enjoyed the new intro. Thank you for the very kind words. Nick Payne, thank you for that. Davood Eagleton with the 100 just says, Asa, dude. I never know if those are real, but if it's real, Asa, dude. Thank you. That's very, very kind of you. Holy smokes. Uh, Limited 450. Thanks for that. Mick E with a five. You're my favorite YouTuber. Please keep doing more videos with Samara. Shout out to you, Mick E. Nuclear Storm. Shout out to you. Um, that's awesome, dude. Um, yeah, you watch the whole series is fun and definitely might do another one soon. Ashen Lit, thanks for that. Noor Ahmed, uh, we have Elite Gangster Gaming again. Robert Reynolds, glad you enjoy the videos. I will do my best, my friend. Thank you. Z Man Plays, glad you enjoy as well. Trusted Chain, thank you for that. Great way to end my day. Thanks, TJ. Well, great way is for you to see your beautiful comment. Shout out to you, my friend. Then we got Penguin Lord Plays, shout out to you. Uh, will you make it when will you make a second part for the series probably within the next week or so i think that would be a good estimate uh nora met shout out to you he's been watching since 2015 much love dude 
Um, Chowku, with all those, did you know that YouTube Premium subscribers get two free $1 Super Chats per month now? Kind of awesome. That's kind of, that's neat, dude. That's freaking neat. I didn't know that. Uh, actually, I think I did know that. Oh, and he dropped both of them on me. Thank you, Chowku. Appreciate that. <laughs> Steph Top Rankins, thank you for that. Mine's OM Soy Soy Mori, uh, Aaron Lichen, uh, Adrian Cifuentes, uh, Chauku Officer Big in the Real MVP. He is he is my trog friend, Real MVP. Shout out to you. Um, we also have Chase Densmore, King Quack is lit. Thank you for that. Uh, Bull Cack, it's been far too long since I've seen one of stream. Very excited to see your new gameplays too. Let's get that bread. Let's gain some grain. Yeah. Bro, I've never heard someone say, let's gain some grain, and I like it. Big shout out to you for introducing to that that to me, my friend. Gamer5, thanks for that. Nura Med and Rogue Agent48 and DG Gamer, thank you for the very kind words. Nura Med says, favorite YouTuber, nice hat, makes you look slick. Thank you, Nura. Well, it's also, it's all, it was also limited, so now it's gone. So now I look even more slick, like some of you that have that. And if you want to cop some of that fire, typical dot store, there's only less than 10 gaming glasses left. Less than 10. We had so many. You guys have sold them the frick out. Less than 10. Get yours while you still can. Uh, I'm not sure when we're restocking, but I think we definitely will have to. And then for the hoodies, when they're gone, they, they might be gone. They might be gone. So go copy your merch. Typical dinosaur. Thank you for all the love. Again, if you watch and enjoy this and you want to see more, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Typical dinosaur for the fire merch. And let me know if you want to see more GTA 5 plays of Cod Mod. And let me know if you want to see me play on a 5M server with other people and do role play uh, there as well. But on that note, that's going to wrap for this one. Thank you all for the incredible support. Hope you have an awesome night. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And peace out.